Hello everybody, this is Gregory with Permanent Weight Loss Made Easy, where there should be no hesitation in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to talk about stop drinking alcohol if you want to lose weight. Now, before we begin, you might see either my six-year-old daughter say hi through the window or my dog come out of the dog door. But if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also, check out my two books, which you can find on Amazon, my two podcasts, The Awakened Man and The Cinema Rag and Confessions of an Obese Child, all of which you can find on Apple and Spotify. And lastly, if you appreciate my content, there is a link for PayPal. So I was at the gym and I was overhearing these these two women who were probably in their low 40s and, you know, they were working out, they were rowing, they were doing planks, crunches, like, you know, trying to stay in shape and they were relatively in good shape. And they were just joking. It's like, yeah, I'm never going to get my six pack because I drank that two, those two bottles of wine last night. Ah. And just made me think, it's like, look, I don't drink alcohol, never been drunk. And I think one of the benefits of being fat and nerdy in high school is that I was never tempted to go to parties where because of peer pressure, you're more likely to start drinking, smoking, vaping, whatever it is. I was just never invited to those things. And at the time I'm like, oh, I really want to go with the cool kids, but they don't want me. And I'm like, I don't, I don't blame them, right? Because I would lower their, their cool cred at the party. But one of the benefits was because of that, and then after I lost my weight when I was 18, I still felt like a fat kid that didn't belong. So in college, I hung out with campus ministry with the Christian kids who didn't drink, and I never went to frat parties. Now, some of you are like, oh, Gregor, that sucks. You had a crappy college life. No, I had a great college life. I just didn't drink and go to frat parties. But eventually, when I got into my mid-20s, frontal lobe of my cerebrum was fully formed. And at that point, I'm like, okay, I come from a history of alcoholics in in my, my family. My father was an alcoholic. I talk about it here in the personal episode. Why take up drinking? Why take it up? And so I've never been tempted. I'm not tempted to say I've never drank. Uh, my ex-wife never drank, so I was with her for, I mean, total of my life, 19 years, I think. So I was never tempted to drink because she never drank. And so, like, I would drink, like, a glass of wine for Thanksgiving or New Year's, like, if I was going to go visit my family. It's not like I, I totally don't drink. I'm not Mormon or anything like that. But I've never been drunk because I, I don't feel the need. And also because I know alcohol just puts another monkey on your back. You could be like, oh, I had a tough day. I'm going to drink my beer. And then, oh, I had a real tough day. You know, I'm going to drink two beers. And you become alcohol dependent. And the government defines that as 10 drinks a week or more for women, 14 for men. And so when I, when I heard these women, I mean, they're, they're hooked on alcohol. They're, they, they joke about it. But a lot of guys are like, I can't tell you how many people I know in my life drink. There's definitely more people I know in my life that drink daily than don't drink at all or can just have a couple of drinks a month. And then they complain about how they're overweight. Or, you know, they're at the gym all the time, mostly doing strength training and not doing cardio. And they, they, they drink, you know, they'll, they'll always be like perpetually uh, buzzed on the weekends and then have a couple of drinks every night during the week, which I think is pretty standard in America. And they're overweight. Well, of course you're overweight because A, as I've mentioned in a previous episode, I, there's no point in lifting weights and getting bulkier if you got the gut. And B, of course you're just drinking empty calories. So what do you do? When it comes to working out, I've mentioned it before, and a lot of you guys who like to lift all the time won't agree, do the cardio. Yes, you might lose some muscle, but you're going to lose that beer gut if you do it the proper way. And then you can rebuild your body once you've lost the way and lost the gut, then you can re- rebuild your muscles the right way. But lifting for 30 hours a day while eating junk food and drinking beer all the time, you're just going to get maybe more muscles if you're doing it right, but you're also going to just get fatter. And this is what I typically see at the gym. It's not like I see a lot of dudes in their 30s and 40s who are like Christian Ronaldo, soccer, soccer shape, swimmer shape. I don't see that. So when it comes to long-term weight loss and maintenance, yeah, you got to get rid of drinking. Are there people in shape that drink a lot? Sure, especially in their teens and 20s. I mean, your metabolism is super fast, but if you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, you got to give up drinking. If you want to keep your weight off or lose weight and keep it off, I mean, I don't think this is like an epiphany from God coming to me that if you stop drinking alcohol, this is going to help. Along with sodas, of course, as well. But with alcohol, there's certainly more of, of of a dependence because most people started drinking in high school. Most people started attaching it to an emotion. Most people, it's just second nature to them. I'm going to go to home and drink a beer. Like they don't even think about it. You could tell them, you know, alcohol is a class one carcinogen, increases your chances of getting all types of cancer, not to mention destroys your liver, high rate of heart attacks and strokes and all these. They're going to keep drinking, right? Because they're hooked on it. They're dependent. I would say they're addicted. They're dependent on it. 
So if you really want to lose weight, like I say about permanent weight loss, do the deep work. You got to go back to the childhood trauma, disassociate emotion with food, and not have a disordered relationship with food, which the majority of fat people had that they typically got from their childhood. Do the deep work to figure out why you had the disordered relationship with food and break it. And it's the same thing with alcohol. A lot of people can't do it, right? Because they're alcohol, like drugs, you're escaping the pain, you're numbing the pain, you're getting nutrients, nutrients from it, whatever it is. And it's hard, right? It's hard to always be present. We always want to be in, like in, a, in an altered state because it makes the present a lot easier to bear. But in the long run, it's bad for your health. And in the long run, you're just adding another monkey to your back because now you're dealing with an addiction. So of course, what I'm telling you is like, stop drinking alcohol. For 90% of you guys, it's easier said than done because you're hooked on alcohol and half of you will admit it. Say that you are alcohol dependent, just count if you're doing 14 drinks a week or not. And the other half just have deep cognitive dissonance and won't admit that they have a drinking problem. So do the deep work. Stop the drinking. Just drink a couple times a month and you'll see. It's going to help your, your, your weight, your waist. And all of overall, undoubtedly, it's going to help your long-term health because, as I mentioned, alcohol is a, a shortener of life. Guys, post it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.